U.S. Polo Association shared photos of Prince Harry on their post, but none of Meghan Markle with a caption, just a regular day at Polo. Nothing to see here. That summarizes it perfectly. Nothing to see there. Prince Harry visited the National Polo Center in Wellington, Florida, with Art Ewell Productions' film crew to capture footage for the recently announced projects for Netflix. It was announced that one show would provide viewers unprecedented access to the world of professional polo. Much to Meghan Markle's dismay, Harry's the star in the draw to their polo matches, not Meghan, because the royals are raised to observe and act accordingly. Instinctively knows what's expected in public, but Meghan is very much an unpredictable wild card. She has main character syndrome, which must annoy him at these events. It's amazing how at ease Harry looks when he's alone, when the wife's in tow, he looks like someone waved a turd under his nose all day. The Polo Association should brace itself for a strongly worded email from Meghan, likely devoid of any handwritten notes in a signature style. They certainly won't be receiving any homemade jam from her. In the end, the U.S. Polo Association will be markled, while a flurry of staged media events and footage may grab tabloid headlines for a few days. It also gives Netflix a good metric they can observe all the blowback and realize that the proposed series just isn't worth the time or money. It'll be another fail for Harry and Meghan and will only serve to solidify that Netflix streamers have way too many options to tune into this elite sport even with Harry and Meghan's faux celebrity shenanigans. They're a global punchline. U.S. Polo Association should run before they become the Invictus Games. Besides, royal expert Angela Levin has slammed Meghan Markle as disgusting and rude as she took center stage at Prince Harry's polo match. Meghan attended the event to support a husband who led his royal salutes and tell team to a 3-1 victory over the grand champions in Florida. The couple were pictured locking lips as Meghan presented the prince with the winning trophy after the match. Angela Levin claimed at the event and claimed that Meghan should let Harry have a little thing of his own. GB News host Alan Holmes said, at the end of the day, she's an actress, she knows how to take center stage. Angela Levin explained she shouldn't be in the middle because she's got two things that she's doing for Netflix, she's talking about food, households, friendship, making friends arrangements, cooking, and all of that. Let Harry have a little thing of his own, he scored the goal that made them win, and you think she'd be really pleased. She pecked his lips, it wasn't a great passionate kiss as the paper said because it didn't last more than a second. I just felt that it crushed him to nothing. She later went on to discuss the prince's new series in more detail. Levin said Meghan's the one who's going to be at home, the guru at home, and how he's going to be talking about polo. We're going to know all about polo and how exciting it is. I don't think he'll touch on how it's supposed to be the most sexy, but there's a lot of that around. I don't think Harry would dare say anything about that, but he's not necessarily going to be around Meghan. She's going to be telling us all how to do it but one of the problems that's made her put it off so long is that people don't want to buy into it. Who wants to be like Meghan?